Hey everyone, um, it's Ashley again. I was going to record another video. Um, today is the 24th of May and it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and it's another day down on my deployment countdown. Um, a lot more to go, but you know, you have to take little victories as they come. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I haven't heard from my husband in a few days and that's hard because it always helps when they call, you know, or email or get online and it, at least you know they're okay, you know, and some of the other wives that I know have heard from their husbands and, and I'm super, super happy for them, but I'm a little jealous. <laughs> um, I, I wish, even if it was for 30 seconds, that, you know, my husband would call and just be like, babe, I'm okay, you know, and and I know that he's busy, and I know he didn't go over there to sit on the phone, and but it it really lifts a huge weight off of you, you know, when you call and you or when they call and you actually hear their voice, and and it does help you feel better at least for a little while, you know, it gives you a little peace of mind. Um, I'm gonna cover several things um, in this video today. This is gonna kind of be like a a mesh all um, kind of video. I'm gonna do a couple of tutorial things um, on the uh, hang on the first one is going to be on the book Dear John and I'm sure a lot of people have probably read it I'm a huge Nicholas Sparks fan um, and it, it seems like it's going to be pretty good so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on that um, I'm also going to do a tutorial on the Pumi Bar. I don't know if anyone's ever used these. I had bought some. Um, my glasses look crooked for some reason. It's driving me crazy. Um, yeah, but on the Pumi Bar, um, it's, you know, to help your hands and feet and elbows look great. Um, I'm also going to do a quick tutorial on the Full Bar. Um, I actually don't have one with me, but you can look them up on YouTube, and you can also Google them. Um, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on that as well. Um, I'm going to do a little one over on care packages. Um, just good ideas, things that aren't so great to send, things that the guys really, really need, um, and creative little ideas. Um, I'm also going to do a tutorial on the Glade Luminary. I love these things. Um, they're fantastic. Um, so I'm going to do a, a little tutorial on them. And um, it's not staying on because my fan is <laughs> on. Um, I'm also going to do not really a tutorial, but just a little thing about the build the bears um, that you can go and have made and there's a lot of women that are doing these for their soldiers and the marines and stuff um, so I'm going to do a little bit about that so and probably some talking in between um, okay first off I'm going to do the care package a bit because it's probably going to be the longest um, care packages are vital during deployments um, the guys get over there, and in a lot of instances, they are at a base that has a lot of things, but sometimes they go out, and, they, and they're away from their specific area for a long time, and they really don't have anything, and they don't have access to a lot of things. So, and it's very important, and especially if they're deployed in really remote areas, sometimes they have nothing at all. Sometimes they have no running water, sometimes they have no electricity, no way of cooking food, and then they're stuck eating MREs and just whatever, you know, they happen to give them, and, and that food isn't very good. I mean, it, it'll keep them going, but it's not good. <laughs> and as long as deployments can be, that's a long time to eat stuff that's, that's not good. Plus, the hygiene items and and just getting a package from home you know it can mean so much and it can really lift their spirits um, some really vital things for care packages um, let me see 
Number one, first and foremost, would probably have to be baby wipes. Um, a lot of guys, like I said, don't have running water, and hygiene is extremely important, as we all know. Um, they can use it to wash their entire body. They can use them to help keep their hands clean. They can use them, you know, for whatever, and they just feel better. You know, it's not a shower, but it does help them get clean. Um, so I, I suggest adding those into every package, um, and try to get the ones that aren't cheap, cheap, cheap. You know, the, the thicker ones are better just because they have more to them, you know, and they'll last a little bit better. Um, also, razors. Guys go through razors like crazy um, on deployments. Some of them have the razors that have the, the refillable cartridges, and those are great. Just be sure that you put in, you know, at least, it's better if you can do it every care package, but if not, like every other care package. Find out what kind of razor they're using, it, you know, and, and send them cartridges for the razor because they have to stay clean shaven so um, also their favorite kind of foods now take into consideration that during the summer it can be 140 plus degrees in Iraq Afghanistan stuff like that it's extremely hot and if you don't package your food the right way or if you send you know chocolates and candies and stuff like that it, more than likely it's gonna melt and the last thing you want is it to be a melted mess by the time it gets there and then they can't eat it so you have to take some consideration into the heat um, and the packing because it, it can take up to a month you know for whatever you send to get to them so you want to make sure that you package it and you want to make sure that you select food that's gonna hold up to extreme temperatures um, most guys take writing stuff with them. Um, some guys don't. So, you know, if they don't have writing stuff, they don't need stamps. Um, the military gets to mail stuff for free. So, don't worry about stamps. You know, worry about paper, envelopes, stuff like that. Um, let me see. Um, try to do stuff that try to send stuff that doesn't need to be cooked okay um tuna pouches vienna sausages spaghettios stuff like that uh, beef jerky stuff that can be eaten straight out of the bag or straight out of the can um because then they can just throw it into their pack and they don't have to worry about heating it up or it being gross or needing a bowl or whatever you know just it, they can just eat it on the go um that makes it a whole lot more easy um also do shaving cream you know, dry shaving will tear their face up. You don't want to do that. Um, also, try to get creative with your care packages. There's there's a lot of women that do themed care packages for every holiday. They line the inside of their boxes with construction paper and pretty paper and pictures and stuff, and they write on the inside of it. And and they they'll get stuff that they spray their perfume on. You know, so when they open the box, it, it smells like they're in the box. You know. Um, you really just use your imagination because I, I try to think of it as a party in a box you know when they open that it's gonna make them feel closer to home and it's gonna lift their spirits and make them feel good and you know you you wanna make it the best it can be you know you wanna you wanna make them feel better feel closer to you let them know that you love them and have taken some time um, into putting that together for them instead of just slapping it together um, there is a way to make brownies and to make cakes in mason jars. Um, I personally have not tried it. I know other women who have, and they really seem to work good. I've got to get the recipe offline because my husband's birthday is next month, and I want to try it um, and see if it works. And what you would do, I'm, I'm guessing, is you would just bake the cake inside the mason jar and then seal it up airtight, and then you would just put your can of frosting in the package closed. And so they open it up and everything when they get there, and then they, you know, take a spoon or a fork or whatever, get a bite of cake, get a bite of frosting, you know. So I thought that was really neat. Um, also, you know, a vacuum sealer is great if you have one, especially if you want to make homemade stuff like cookies and stuff like that. If you can vacuum seal it, it will last a lot better. Um, and it'll be a lot fresher when it gets there since it's going to take some time. Um, a lot of guys love homemade candy. My husband personally loves hard rock candy.